it's glam time and I'm going to get tea with my friends here in Denver. Um, but I wanted to talk because there's been some things that's just been on my mind lately. I'm using the Winx Club palette from ColourPop. But yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of these videos, they come and go, about like, these products have like these harmful ingredients, etc, etc, you know? Like very fear-mongering. But yeah, what annoys me about it is that like people just take their word for it. Even though they have like really no evidence, they have like, it's basically their opinion. They did one quick Google search to find out what the ingredient is, and they really just don't understand it. Um... And it's just so annoying because I feel like most of the time those people who are like fear mongering are also trying to push this like clean product that they're selling. So it's like they have an agenda behind it. They're not being like honest. But one of my favorite accounts on here, his name is Javen Ford 5, I believe. Um, I'll tag him, but he's a cosmetic chemist and he just debunks all these honestly lies um, that are just like fear-mongering people. Let me give you some examples. So I had watched this video on TikTok that was saying like they're afraid to use dry shampoo now because there's an ingredient in it that is used in the aerosol can that makes it harmful. But yeah, Javen did a video on this and he states that it's used so the aerosol can can work but after that it's it's gone. It's gone in the air and it's not gonna harm you. It just reminds me of when that documentary came out about like how harmful beauty products are um, like talc um, and they were saying like these brands have harmful ingredients in it and it was just like it was completely biased like that was debunked after the documentary came out and how biased it was but people were still scared obviously. Do you remember when everybody was throwing out their makeup because they thought it was harmful to them because of that documentary? And people later found out that it would only be harmful if you like snorted your makeup, which people don't. Anyways, I'm making this video because I'm just tired of all the fear mongering that happens, especially in the beauty industry. So I urge you guys, the next time you see one of those videos, please do some critical thinking and do your own research. And yeah, I'm sorry for the rant, but... I hope you guys took something away from this and for those who stayed until the end, thank you for watching.